Dolphins fans, what a night that we had, not only here at Chat Sports with over $1,000 in Super Chats, shout out to you Isaiah Anthony, but also we had a heck of a night watching this game over there in Miami Gardens, 48-10, to the Miami Dolphins beating the Philadelphia Eagles, a complete shellacking of Philadelphia, 48-10, to the final score, Tua was outstanding, 6 of 7, 121 yards, a touchdown, Miles Gaskin looked pretty solid. The run game surprisingly looked really good. And I say surprising because the first two weeks they didn't look good. But the Dolphins as a football team tonight rushed for over 200 yards. Very impressive. Much needed. Craycraft was great. Four receptions, 54 yards. The Dolphins going up against one of their former quarterbacks, Reed Sinnott. Of course, you remember last offseason when they tried to kind of sneak Sinnott through waivers on the practice squad. It didn't work. He got snatched up by the Eagles. He did not look great tonight against his former team. Skylar Thompson certainly outplayed Reed Sennett down the stretch. Let's talk about Tua first, though, because we were hoping Tua was going to play tonight. He did, and he looked very good. Six of seven, 121 yards, a touchdown. I think we're all dreaming of this, and it happened. But on the first play, play action, Tua fakes the handoff, throws it deep, 51-yard reception, Made by Tyreek Hill. That was Tyreek's first play as a Dolphin, and it went, it went for 51 yards. But, hey, I thought Tua can't throw the deep ball right. 51 yards, a dime to Tyreek. And the very next play was another completion of Tyreek. They got the Dolphins set up inside the 10-yard line. Craycraft then caught in a touchdown. Let's talk about Skyler because Skyler has had one heck of a preseason, had a great game again tonight. 7 of 10. 103 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions for the seventh round pick out of Kansas State. I'm very excited about Skylar Thompson. He is an absolute lock to make this football team, which means the Dolphins are going to carry three quarterbacks. It's going to be interesting to see what other positions that decision impacts, but you have to carry Skylar Thompson on the 53-man roster as they're going to make cuts on Tuesday. I want to know, who was your MVP of tonight's game? Go down in the comment section, chime in. Was it Skyler? Was it Tua? Was it Tyreek? Was it Lynn Bowden? Was it River Craycraft? Go down. Tell me who was the MVP of tonight's game. I would say it was probably Skyler Thompson again. 7 to 10, over 100 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. But also, I'm looking at what River Craycraft did tonight. This was a really big game. For Craycraft, four receptions, 54 yards, a touchdown. Caught a touchdown in the first quarter. And this is a very important game for Craycraft. It was the final preseason game. He's very much on the roster bubble. The Dolphins probably going to carry six, maybe seven receivers. And so the final spot might come down between Craycraft and Bowden. So Craycraft, four receptions. But Bowden also made his presence felt with a 39-yard touchdown reception in the fourth quarter. And if you were watching our live show, when the fourth quarter came around, I said this was going to be a really big quarter for Lynn Bowden Jr. He certainly took advantage of it with a touchdown. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens, but the Dolphins, if they carry six wide receivers, are going to have a big decision to make whether to keep Lynn Bowden Jr. or River Craycraft because I do believe that said Wilson, Trent Sherfield, and Eric Ezukanma are all locks to make this football team. Before I get into more about the game, I want to tell you about this great deal we're giving you here at Chat Sports because you can get this t-shirt combo on sale for a limited time. It's chatsports.com slash Dolphins Combo. That's the link. Go and take advantage of it. A lot of fun that we had here on Dolphins today. You're going to be having a lot of fun throughout the season. You want to be repping the fence. That's a great way to do it. Go and take advantage of that t-shirt combo. Chatsports.com slash Dolphins Combo. Let's go to John Ruiz. He asked this because now we're getting into some mailbag questions that we are answering here on this postgame show. Trade Austin Jackson and Preston Williams for Leatherwood and Daryl Williams. Uh, so Austin Jackson and Preston Williams certainly trade candidates, especially Preston. Alex Leatherwood is believed to be very much a cut-and-trade candidate in Las Vegas. In fact, there was a report yesterday from Jeremy Fowler of ESPN that Leatherwood will get cut or traded, which is wild. A former first-round pick out of Alabama. So, hey, he played with two at Bama. He played with two at Bama. Bring him to Miami. I'm all for that. 
In terms of Darrell Williams, you can't trade for him because he's a free agent, but I would like to sign Williams. In fact, my dream scenario might be Leatherwood at left guard, Darrell Williams at right tackle. Poke Greenwich says, percent chance of Skyler going to be QB2. Not, it's not zero, which is crazy to think about because Skyler's a seventh-round pick. They gave Teddy Bridgewater a one-year, $6.5 million deal. It's all guaranteed. Incentives could get that up to $10 million. So they might feel good enough about Skyler being QB2 that they trade Teddy Bridgewater. But Teddy struggled in camp. He struggled in preseason games. Is anyone going to be interested in trading for him? That's the question that I would have. Now, grade Thompson's performance against Philadelphia. Go down in the comment section. Let me know. It is the pinned comment on today's video. So when an ad break comes, go down, chime in, type A, B, C, D, or F. Skylar Thompson again, 7 of 10, over 100 yards, 103 to be exact, three touchdowns, no interceptions. That wraps up a fantastic preseason for Sky. Five touchdowns, no interceptions in his three preseason games. Jason saying... Should Tua haters shut up now? Tua haters are going to be shut up by week four. They're going to be zipping their lips. They're going to be speechless. They're going to be proven wrong. Tua today looked excellent. Again, just one incompletion. He took a shot downfield. And thank you, Mike McDaniel, for calling that play on the first play from scrimmage. You love to see it. But the Tua haters are going to be silenced this season. They're not going to be silenced from a preseason game. In fact, there was a lot of people in my comments adding me saying that ball was underthrown. Give me a break. 51 yards. Give Tua some credit. He put it on the dime to Tyreek Hill on the first. That was the first play of the game. That was Tyreek's Dolphins debut. That was the first time they ever hooked up in a game. Of course, like, what? And he's still getting criticized. Tua haters are ridiculous, but they're going to be silenced this season. And why you should subscribe is because we're going to be breaking down how Tua does. We're going to be breaking down how the Dolphins do. We're bringing you guys watch parties, news and rumors, all the above. Hit that big red subscribe button for the best Miami Dolphins coverage on YouTube. The Elite says, trade Gaskin to Pittsburgh for corner Pierre. Uh, I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't mind uh, a, well, here's the thing. If you're going to trade Gaskin or Preston or Mike Gesicki or whoever, I don't necessarily want a draft pick. I would take one, trust me, but I would rather have a position of need. Right now, you can make the argument that the Dolphins are a little bit thin at corner, position of need. I wouldn't mind trading for a corner. Absolutely not. Fear the Kilt saying, Sony, keep or cut. You keep Sony Michelle. There, there's, there's three locks at the running back position right now. It is obviously Chase Edmonds, RB1, Mostert, RB2, Michelle, RB3. You keep Michelle Gaskin unless he gets traded. And there's a lot of rumors that the Dolphins have included Gaskin in trade talks. We'll continue to keep you updated on that. But there's a lot of rumors about that. So if you keep Gaskin, then maybe Ahmed or Zaquandre White, or maybe even Jared Dokes. He had a pretty good game tonight. Makes the team. I do want to mention Dokes had 11 carries for 67 yards. Gaskin, 6 carries, 39 yards. Sonny Michelle didn't do a whole lot. 5 carries for 15 yards. Ethan Booth, do you, do you think the Dolphins will do this in the, in the regular season? Uh, I think they're going to be a damn good football team. I don't know if they're going <laughs> to beat a playoff team like the Eagles, 48-10, uh, to 10, but this is a good football team. They have proved that in the preseason. You look at that joint practice. They dominated the Eagles in the joint practice. They dominated the Bucs in the joint practice as well. Those are two playoff teams, the Bucs and the Eagles. The Bucs are a Super Bowl contender. The Eagles might win their division. So the Dolphins have proven this offseason, or this preseason, that they are legit. This is a team that is going to make the NFL playoffs, and win a playoff game, I think, for the first time in 22 years. Kurt LaPlante, uh-oh, the Pats are in trouble. Bro, Kurt, the Pats have been in trouble. I mean, my goodness, Matt Patricia's their offensive coordinator. This is not going to be a good football team. New England is, I'm, I'm predicting this right now. Hot take, the Dolphins on September 11th are going to dominate the New England Patriots. It's not even going to be close. They're going to win the game by probably 20-plus points. They might do to the Patriots what they did to the Eagles tonight. New England is not that good of a team. They do not have any weapons for Mac Jones. They do not have any really impressive assistant coaches on offense. I mean, Matt Patricia and Joe Judge are like the guys calling plays. It's a problem in New England. Patriots fans know it. They're going to finish last in the division this year, perhaps. Who do you got in week one? This is the next time we're going to see the Dolphins on the football field. Do you have the Finns or do you have the Pats? Type MIA for the Fins or type NE for the Pats. Down in the comments section, 
go down, chime in. While you're down there, subscribe to the channel because we're trying to become the number one Miami Dolphins channel on YouTube. Really appreciate all the support we got tonight on our live watch party. It was a lot of fun. Go and subscribe to the channel, youtube.com slash Dolphins News. This has been Willie Fins.